Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to automatically log in a user account to your Windows-based computer. So this is a program called Auto Logon. It's been around for a while. It's by Microsoft. Uh, but in case you didn't know that it existed, we figured we'd do a video for you. So once you download it, you just extract the zip file, and then you're most likely going to run the 64-bit version here. Say yes to the UAC prompt. So it's going to put in the last user that you configured it with, which was Steve. So on this computer, I have three accounts, Microsoft account for Todd, Microsoft account for Cindy, and a local account for Steve. So it works on both. Okay, so let me run it here. Actually, it's running down here. So I'm going to change this to the Todd user. So if you don't know how to find your username, you could open a command prompt and type in who am I? Todd S. Or you could go to your users folder on your C drive. Users. Todd S, get your username from there. So we have Cindy, Steve, and Todd S. Okay, so let's go back here. So I'm going to change this to Todd. So for domain, since it's just a standalone computer, it's using the computer name. It's not, it doesn't have anything to do with the domain. So we got to put in the Microsoft account password for Todd S here. Click on Enable. Okay, successfully configured. Password is encrypted. So now let's reboot and see what happens. Okay, you can see it's logging in Todd automatically. Okay, so we're in. So now let's try it again here. Let's change this to Steve. So you can click on disable first if you want, but we're just going to leave it enabled and just change this to Steve and see what happens rather than disabling it first. Just for a little fun test. Okay. So let's try it again now that it's Steve, which is the local user account. Okay, logging in Steve, the local user. All right, so Steve is logged in. So now, if you want to get to one of your other accounts, you know, you could simply just click on their name here and log in or log off this guy and then connect to one of those. So let's just sign out Steve. And once you sign out someone, then you'll be able to see all your users and you can choose which other one you log in as. This is assuming you have more than one user account, of course. All right, so let's now go back in here and disable it. And let's reboot one more time. All right, so now it's back to the user prompt here. So since Todd was the last one that was logged in, it puts him on there first. And now we can go in and things are back to normal. So it's pretty simple to use, just run it. Put in the username, put in their password, and then of course, if you have more than one user, just keep in mind that this user that you can figure here is going to, going to be the one that is logged in, and if you want to access one of the other accounts, you'll have to log this one off first or just switch to it. And then of course, if you change your mind and you don't want any auto logon, just come back here and click on disable. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you could download auto logon and you could try it for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.